here today to walk you through the essential components of our epic total diode solution, the newest laser from Violase. The intention of this quick video is to show you in a few minutes or less what the laser looks like, how it feels in your hands, and some of the basic components that come with our basic epic package as well as the whitening package we offer and our total diode solution package which includes a pain therapy handpiece. The first thing you can see here is our epic laser. You can see that it's about uh, four to five inches in circumference and or in, in diameter and it's around two to three pounds real lightweight real easy and a very good looking device to have on your countertop in your operatory we'll turn it on in a moment and go through some of the controls of the ui in addition to the laser in the box you'll also receive two surgical hand pieces we'll put these on in a moment and kind of show you how they go on and off and how easy they are to keep clean with your autoclave we'll open those up in a minute but for now we'll set them aside if you order our whitening package, you will also receive, in addition to the two hand pieces, a whitening hand piece. It looks just like this, and it will attach to the hand piece. We'll show this in a few minutes as well, what it looks like and how it works. But that's for uh, performing tooth whitening with your Epic Laser. And we also uh, offer you the opportunity to get a pain therapy package, which includes this deep tissue hand piece, which attaches right here to the end of the uh, laser as well. And we'll show you how that works in a moment as well. Now, if you go with the basic Epic, Epic package, you also receive a box of screen protectors. There's 30 of these in the box, and what these are used for is you basically apply one to the front of the laser, and when you're done with the procedure, you peel it off and throw it away. Simply wipe this down with an alcohol wipe, and you're on your way. That's how you clean the front of the laser. So these are very handy, uh, and we recommend using them with the laser, with the Epic. The delivery system also comes in a package that looks like this inside the Epic box and you'll open this up and you'll actually install the delivery system at the time of uh, when you get the laser in your office. Very easy to do. There's good step-by-step -step instructions on how to uh, achieve this. So that's your delivery system. The system also ships with a box of 30 tips, disposable single-use tips that you'll apply to the surgical handpiece right here. We'll show you how those work in a moment as well. There's also other things, the basics like a wireless foot pedal, fully wireless, it's battery operated. You can see here the Epic itself is also fully wireless, so you can literally move from operatory to operatory with no strings or cords attached. So that's the foot pedal. There's also a number of other things. You get three pairs of safety goggles, you get two pairs of the diode protective goggles against the wavelength, and then there's a darker pair for the patient. We found that by having this darker pair, it's better for the patient. They can kind of relax and take it easy during the procedure, plus it's more protection uh, for the patient with the darker lenses. So you get two pairs of these and a pair of these. There's also a number of other, uh, excuse me there, there's also a number of other components that come in. There's a tip initiation kit. When you use the laser to cut soft tissue, you have to initiate the end of the tip, which means darkening it. That's what this kit here is for. It's very simple to do. It also has batteries for your foot pedal. You have the, our user manual does not come in printed format. We usually only ship it on a disc like so. This is also inside your Epic box. We highly recommend you read this before using your Epic laser, but this is the uh, user manual for you. And there's also a laser danger sign for the operatory wall. You can see it here. You hang this in the operatory where the laser is going to be used. If you need more of these, obviously they're complimentary. We can get you more. And then there's a couple of other components. There's a small screwdriver for installing and reinstalling the lithium ion battery pack on the bottom of this laser here. You can see it there. This is what this is for is to help open that up. And then there's a small gray cable here which is called a remote interlock which is used basically as a safety function. Uh, most people don't use this. It's, it's a requirement from the medical OSHA group but it's not really required in the, uh, in the dental operatory. So that's our Epic Laser. So let's talk about a couple things before we get going on this thing. Let's talk about uh, the setup of the thing. So here we are with our Epic Laser. We've installed the handpiece itself, and you can see here's our surgical handpiece. It's already installed on the fiber, and you can see the fiber actually unwinds around the base of the laser. Real easy to do, so managing the fiber is real basic. So when before you use it, you'll basically unwind it like so. Let me just get it on top from underneath the laser there itself. And you can see it's real flexible, real flexible fiber. A couple things with the fiber, you don't want to ever bend it at a sharp right angle. You never want to step on it. You never want to drop the handpiece. So take care of the fiber when you're using it. But you can see the fiber is real easy to use. It's not real coiled and doesn't, it doesn't turn real messy. Now to remove the handpiece or to install it, basically there's two little buttons. You can see it slides right off. That's how that works. So put it on, take it off. Put it on, squeeze the two buttons, off it comes. This is what you'll autoclave. This is what you'll wipe down after use, and you'll put this away on the handpiece like so, and this goes into the autoclave unit. So very easy to take, uh, take down and set up. So we'll set this aside for now. 
Now I do want to show you real quick the whitening handpiece and the deep tissue handpiece. So let's pull this off real quick, set it down. Here's the deep tissue handpiece itself. You can see here how it slides right on just like the other one. And then you've got the deep tissue functionality there. And let's take the whitening handpiece out of this container real quick. And you can see the whitening handpiece is much the same. Whoop, got to protect the cap on. Let's just take that off real quick. And you can see it slides it right on just like so. So that's your whitening handpiece. This can also be used for paint therapy, but we do recommend to use this one instead. But this can be used as well. Let's put our surgical handpiece on, and now we're going to put on a tip. Next, we'll quickly show you how easy it is to install the tips. It's a major question we have from a lot of interested doctors is how do you manage the tips and the, and the fiber itself on the laser? Remember, you get 30 complimentary tips when you order the Epic Laser. They come in this box. We've got one pulled out and we'll show you how easy it is to install on the end of the surgical handpiece. We'll just kind of put the tip here on the countertop. Let's go ahead out of the little individual packaging. Here's the tip itself. You can see it's a plastic tip with a metal cannula that's fully bendable. So if you have a, a difficult to reach class two cavity prep where there's some soft tissue that you need to trim, you can really bend this thing and get into the posterior of the mouth without any difficulty uh, that you would have with some other kinds of traditional means. Also, the concept of a, of a disposable surgical tip is something that Biolase invented and brought to market four or five years ago. Uh, of course, all the other diode laser manufacturers, most of them have this sort of uh, system now, but some of them are still using the old-fashioned system where you actually have to strip and cleave the actual exposed fiber optic cable, uh, which is how the laser energy is delivered to the tissue. We've obviously designed and engineered a really convenient system for you. So let's go ahead and remove the uh, plug from the end of the handpiece. You can see it, comes sh it ships with this little plug, so we'll take that out. And using the, the, the plastic disposable tip here, we'll go ahead and just up, up, apply a little pressure, turn it clockwise, and the tip is installed and ready for use. It's that simple. Now, again, you can bend this if you need to get to some of those difficult to reach posterior areas, but when you're done, after you've used the tip, you'll go ahead and unscrew it, throw it in the sharps container, and that's it. This comes off, your assistant would wipe, or put this in the autoclave, wipe this down, take the removable plastic cover off, wipe the laser down, and that's your teardown. Really, really basic and easy to understand. Our next step is to look at the user interface itself. So we'll power the laser on and we're going to look through uh, some of the user interface commands. You'll see really how beautiful and elegant the user interface is and how simple it will be for you to uh, put to use in a clinical setting. The laser powers up, you'll get a welcome screen that looks like this. You simply touch it, you enter the password, which is the same for every epic, it's 888. One more. There you go. And there's your user interface. You remember, you have three treatment centers you have a soft tissue treatment center a whitening system, and then a pain therapy treatment center. So quickly you can get right down into the soft tissue surgery, which is the majority of what you'll use your Epic Laser for. You can quickly go ahead there, and you've got 14 presets that are factory loaded for very basic procedures. You can see uh, procedures such as gingivectomy, troughing, curatage, excision, uh, phrenectomy, implant recovery, perial pockets, which is a beautiful procedure for your hygiene team, assuming you live in a state where it's legal for your hygienist to use a laser. Crown lengthening, infected pockets, endohemostasis. You can see there's a lot of procedures. In it. And in addition to the 14 presets we have, there's spots here for six of your own favorites. So up to 20 presets can be loaded into the Epic. It's really, really simple to use. Now let's go ahead and get into one of the procedures. Let's pretend that we're, uh, in, we've encountered a gingivectomy. So let's go ahead and hit the gingivectomy button. This is a really neat feature here in that the laser will prompt you to initiate the tip. And what does that mean? It means that you're going to darken the end of the laser tip. Uh, using our tip initiation kit, which I showed you earlier. And here, I'll just show it to you again real quick. It's this little doodad right here in this little box. You actually will lift this up, a piece of cork comes out, and you'll use it to initiate or darken the end of the tip. That's how you cut soft tissue surgery, or soft tissue with a diode. So we'll, we'll pretend that we've initiated the tip. We'll go ahead and hit that. And you can see here, the settings are all preloaded. You've got the tip that it recommends, which is an E4 tip. That's what we have loaded here. You've got the different comfort pulse modes here. We're going to use comfort pulse zero for this. The user manual explains what comfort pulse is all about. So we're just going to use zero for this. But if you need to adjust, look how simple this is. Let's use my other hand there. You can see I'm adjusting the power. Let's say I want to move to comfort pulse two. Or actually, for the gingivectomy, we're probably going to use continuous waves. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, the checkbox there. 
And then if we want to select the tips and go to a 300 micron diameter tip, it really is very slick and easy to use. And what this does is adjusts the parameters of the laser on the inside to really work at peak efficiency. So we'll go ahead. That's how easy it is to deal with the procedure. Now, when it comes to whitening, let's go back to the home screen and go to the whitening section. Let's, uh, I'm not going to put the whitening handpiece on now, but you can see here it's got presets and 30 second intervals. When you whiten with a laser, you'll use this handpiece here attached to this uh, fiber and you'll do it in 30 second increments where you'll, you'll set the patient up with the gel and you'll isolate the gum tissue and then for 30 second increments three times per quadrant you'll whiten and you'll get anywhere between six to eight shades in a, a difference for your patient in less than an hour of treatment time great great way to add some incremental revenue to your practice if you're not doing laser bleaching the third and final center of the laser is the pain therapy area and again you can use this handpiece here to do this, or you can use our spe uh, specially designed deep tissue handpiece here. But you can see here, powers are preset, the, num the amount of joules that you're delivering to the tissue is preset, and the amount of time or the duty cycle is preset. I just adjusted it, let's move it back. So real basic and easy to use in terms of pain therapy, whitening, and of course soft tissue surgery. That's the buttons. Now if you run into some issues or some troubleshooting, you can go to our setup screen and there's different things here where you can adjust the uh, aiming beam brightness, let's go back out here. You can adjust the language that you're using. You can see all the preloaded languages there. You can also adjust the, uh, the volume of the unit itself. And then there's a couple of other settings down here related to the wireless Bluetooth foot pedal. And of course, a, a, a screen that our service technicians can get to if they need to perform laser service on your, on your Epic. So that's buttonology. That's how the laser works from the user interface perspective. I wanted to take a moment and show you how to initiate the tip. You'll be doing this quite a bit with most of your dental procedures that you use the uh, Epic for. So anything re requiring the cutting of gum tissue or soft tissue, you're going to need to initiate the tip. So I'll show you real quick. Here's the, the quirk that I mentioned inside the tip initiation kit. So what you would do is go to your procedure. We're going to do a gingivectomy. Again, it's going to prompt us to initiate the tip, which is a great reminder chair side when you're in the heat of battle. And we're going to go ahead and take the handpiece. Remember, always wear safety goggles. When in the, whenever the laser goes into ready mode or you're going to use the laser in an operatory, everybody within the room needs to have protective eyewear on at all times. That's one of the most important things. So what we'll do is go ahead and we'll hit the foot pedal. Again, the foot pedal is fully wireless and connected to the uh, Epic with a Bluetooth connection. It's got a protective hood here, which is a safety requirement. So I'm going to put this back on the floor. We'll depress the foot pedal. And we're going to go ahead and fire the laser into the cork. Here we go. You'll see I'll kind of gently lit, put the cork down in. Let's do it again. So basically that's how you see that little spark. What that's doing is carbonizing or darkening the end of the tip. So the tip now has a dark end where the laser energy that comes from the epic actually kind of gathers and accumulates there and it helps cut the laser cut more efficiently so that's how you initiate the tip it's just that simple i'll do it again real quick kind of drop it drop it in drop it in drop it in and you've got yourself a nice initiated tip you'll do this prior to using the laser for any sort of soft tissue surgery you will not initiate the tip if you're using the laser for things like canker sores aptus ulcers uh, herpetic lesions uh, you, all those things that require kind of just blanching of the light